I'm going to give you guys the perfect release day strategy. What you should be doing the day that your song drops or, you know, a couple days before or a couple days after. Ultimately, everything surrounding the actions that you should be taking when dropping and then promoting a song. First of all, make sure the song is on every single streaming platform the day that it's released. So whatever day you decide to promote it, and announce that the song is released. Make sure it's everywhere on every platform so that people can go and listen to it on whatever platform they choose. And if you don't know about getting songs on every platform, then just go YouTube search, how do I get my song on all major streaming platforms? It's very easy. It will cost you a little bit of money. Go do that and then probably come back to this video. Don't release the song on SoundCloud and then two days later drop on Spotify and then a week later drop on YouTube and then drop it on Apple Music. No. Okay, everything on the same day. The only exception to this is if you drop a music video after the song has been released, which happens a lot and, you know, is perfectly okay. But not in the reverse. If you have a music video and you wanna use that as hype and drop it on all platforms later, please don't do that. That is a total waste. When you drop the music video, make sure that people can go into the description, click on whatever link to whatever platform they like to stream songs on and add it to their playlist. Don't ruin that opportunity, please. Because people are not gonna go back to YouTube to keep listening to your song. I know that you think that they will because it's you, but you're not special. Think about it. YouTube sucks to listen to music to. Most people don't. They listen on SoundCloud or Apple Music or Spotify because it's better listening experience. YouTube sucks. You can't even close the app while listening to the song. And I know you know that, so don't think that anybody's gonna do it any differently because it's you. Give them everything that they need, every possible tool for success. Set yourself up for success. Don't waste it. I run a page called Jota where I drop people's music videos. And a lot of the times they will post the music video on our page and they'll say, in a couple weeks, I'm gonna drop it on all platforms. Can you update the links? And this drives me up a wall. I mean, I, I will do it for you, but why? You're wasting this opportunity that all of these unique people are going to hear your song. When they hear that song, if they like it, they're going to want to go and listen to it in their free time. But if you don't give them that opportunity right away, they're going to forget. Guess what? They're not going to go back in three weeks and check and see if your song got posted on all platforms. If it's not there right away, they're gonna be like, damn, wanted to listen to this again, but next, because you're just one of a million artists. Don't make that mistake. So now that the song is on every major platform, what you wanna do is when you release a song, promote the song first on the platform that you get the most engagement on. For a lot of people, that's their main Instagram. Then wait a few hours like three or four, not one, not 20 minutes, not 30 minutes. Give it some time for people to see that and then go check it out. Then after, use your second most engaging platform, which a lot of people is either Twitter or their Instagram story and promote it in a different way. Then after that, wait a couple of days. Don't keep promoting, don't keep spamming. And the worst thing that you can do is post it on all of your social media platforms at the same exact time. And that's what most people do. Most people will drop a song and they'll tweet, post on Instagram, post on their Instagram story, post on their Snapchat all at once. Here's the problem. Let's say I see it on your Instagram and then I go listen to the song, right? Okay, cool. Let's say I see it on your Instagram. I don't feel like listening to it right now or it's not a good time. Then I see it on your Twitter Twitter, and then I see it on your Snapchat all at the same time. And I already decided in my head, dude, I'm not gonna listen to this. Now I'm just annoyed. And I just saw it a bunch of times. But let's say I saw it on your Instagram and I thought, I'm not gonna listen to that. And then a few hours later, I saw it again. Uh, still not feeling it. Then a few days later, you make a tweet. And then I'm like, ah, still don't know. And then maybe a day after that, you make another tweet or you post again on your Instagram. Okay, now I'm gonna listen to it. You didn't use all of your promotion tools at the same exact time. You gave it the opportunity to breathe and give people different times to potentially listen to your stuff. Eventually it worked. And again, to reinforce that, if somebody sees your Instagram and then sees your tweet at the same time, you just reached the same person with two different platforms at the same exact time. They don't care whether they saw it on Twitter or Instagram. But like I said, if you post it on Instagram, they see it, okay, cool. And then a few hours later, they see it again on a different platform. You gave them time to forget and then be reminded. But if you hit everybody at the same exact 
that time on different platforms, it's not really helping your situation. You gotta give it time to breathe and use it as a reminder. As far as release day materials, I know a lot of you don't have the resources to make these crazy animations or you don't have a really high quality professional music video or you don't know like a good strategy to have a piece of content to promote your song. So what a lot of people do is screen record the song on SoundCloud and then post it on their Instagram. Please don't do this. It looks incredibly bad. It really isn't an enticing way to get somebody to listen to your song. At the bare minimum, you could do a Triller. So a Triller is basically a free platform that you can download and almost make like a little homemade music video that doesn't look bad and it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is just film yourself dancing to your song or whatever. I don't really feel any type of way about it. It's a good way to hype up a song and it's really good for somebody with no resources. But you gotta do something creative, some sort of video content, something that allows people to hear the song and then have something engage them while they're listening to that song. Even if it's a meme video, find a ridiculous video of people dancing on YouTube, cut the audio and replace it with your audio. Boom, post it on your Instagram. Yeah, it's a meme, but I don't know, maybe it'll blow up as a meme or people really like the song and be like, ha ha, it goes with a good video too. Maybe they will like the video more than they like the song and they end up sharing the video with somebody and then that person ends up liking the song more than the video. You see how it can kind of work in your favor? There are tons of free apps out there that you can use to make these quick little videos. They're out there, I don't wanna hear it. You could do it all from your phone. The other worst possible thing that you could do is just take a screenshot of the song so you don't even have the audio playing or you just post the album artwork. I don't understand why people promote, other than people who already have a little bit of hype, but if you're an upcoming artist, like you're posting a picture and then you're telling people to go listen to the song, like a picture doesn't make me wanna listen to a song. Give me a preview of the song. I know you're really proud of your album artwork, but for the most part, people don't care. It doesn't doesn't entice people. It doesn't make people want to listen to your song unless you're already really established. Give them a piece of the audio, even if it's, a, you know, 10, 15 seconds, but give them something to entice them to go and stream the song on a platform where you can, you know, make a dollar off that. I promise you the preview will encourage people to listen to the song more than just an image. Thank you for tuning in to the Patrick CC Artist Masterclass. Be sure to check out the previous video if you missed it and definitely stick around and tune into the next video because I have tons of great information that that you don't wanna miss out on. If you found something helpful in one of these videos, definitely shoot me a DM on any of my social medias and tell me what you learned. And as always, drink water.